Welcome to your monthly intuitive energy update. This is Akia. Welcome, guys, all of you, um, course medicine warriors. Um, welcome back. And to any new viewers, welcome to my channel. This is a reading for you, Cancer. Um, again, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, essentially all Cancer placements. And um, this reading could play out from the perspective of the Cross Watcher. This is a timeless reading, it's also very general. So take what resonates, let the rest go, guys. This is not a gender specific reading, and um, feel free to reverse the energies however they resonate for you. So, Cancer, taking the time out now to say happy birthday to all of the Cancers out there, and um, happy solar return. Cancer is cardinal water. You are the specialty placement of the water signs. You are the feminine powerhouse, okay? The fourth house is what you rule. Ruled by the energy of the moon. You are natural, high priestess energy, okay? Your power is really unmatched when you tap into it. It's... It's like the complete body of the ocean, of the water. If Pisces is the oldest water sign, it's the depth. It's the depth that goes beyond in Neptune. <clears throat> you are the ka which is the energy that we experience okay before our ba enters our body so you are this ka this vessel which is ruled by the moon you are the shadow okay that we know before we know our true spirit okay so our true soul essence, should I say. So, yeah, people underestimate cancer energy. I myself um, have cancer in the eighth house, which is ruled by Scorpio. So that's double water, that's moon, that's Mars, that's Pluto, okay? The eighth house represents depth, money, sex, okay? Um, so yeah, I have Jupiter in cancer in my eighth house and um yeah cancer you are the embodiment embodiment of the feminine energy and you own it okay you are the empath you are the emotional energy but at your core you are very powerful and you are very strong and very capable a lot of you are great business owners because you know how to take action, you know how to use your feminine energy, your intuition to be a powerhouse, okay, in whatever realm uh, that you specialize in. So I just want, wanted to take time out to honor cancer energy because a lot of people want to say, oh, they're you know, so emotional and, you know, <laughs> and you can be, you guys can be, we can be. And, um, a lot of times that natural ability to be an empath and to be emotional is taken advantage of. Yeah. And um, you have really deep feelings that run extremely deep. Not in the, like a scorpionic kind of way. You can tap into that, but it's more in just your heart. You know, um, take things to heart and you feel it and you internalize it where Scorpio may take it, transform it and throw it back at you, you know? So you do, heavy is the heart, heavy is the head. You guys um, have a lot on your heart a lot of the times, okay? You don't want to have a lot on your heart a lot of the times. You don't want to take in everything that everyone around you is feeling, but you do, you have to, it's you. 
So when people think that that's just you, oh, being heavy and emotional, but it's just, it is, you know, again, heavy is the heart. Heavy is the crown for Leo, but heavy is the heart for Cancer. Okay, so yeah, you guys are beautiful, really. Okay, the channel messages that I have for you guys, um, again, happy birthday, happy solar return to Cancers. There's something, like, you don't really understand that there is some major justice that's coming in for you, okay? You may feel tied up right now, or you feel like something is just not moving with something legal, possibly, or even karma that you feel as though you deserve, good karma, or even karma that you believe someone else deserves, or some type of injustice <clears throat> in the past, but... Things may seem tricky now and you may feel tied up, but there's a major justice that's coming your way, okay? Because you have been through a lot of pain. There's been deception, you know? I am getting a third party situation or even something that you have gotten caught up within yourself. Someone feels, you know, hurt, abandoned. They never got a chance to heal things with their father or masculine energy in their life. Someone's mother had to be the mother and the father because their father left or because their father passed away. Unresolved issues with that. I feel like so someone's a masculine energy it doesn't have to be a father figure it could be a relationship or a marriage or something like that but someone walked left and they just never came back okay they just never came back and someone waited there's this song called i waited for you that i'll i'll try to put in the description it's more of a melody it's melodic and it's kind of trance but it it may resonate with someone. I wait it for you. <clears throat> this could have something to do with someone with some um, Asian descent. Something to do with someone having to um, to flee or to leave their country. I'm getting this could also be someone um, with African descent or Haitian or something like that. Um, yeah, there's some justice that's coming in for you and you, you don't even realize that the skills are about to be balanced in your, in your favor. Because again, someone has been very courageous, their faith has been tested, but they're very, very strong, very, very powerful spirit. Okay? Someone's determined to make it to their end goal. And I feel like someone also is um, packing their stuff and they're leaving, they're moving. Okay? Someone could have pink, pink walls in, their, in, in a certain room in their house. Or somewhere that someone goes for sanctuary. There's like pink stained glass. <clears throat> I'm getting, you know, I'm just a fool for you. Someone is a fool for someone. Someone's a fool for you or you're a fool for someone. But someone is about to move. Someone's about to leave. They're packing their bags. I see five suitcases. Five, five is important. Number seven is important. Someone needs to protect their crown. Chakra, keep your head covered if you feel like you're getting headaches and stuff and stuff like that um we have a very codependent energy okay around you uh this could be something that you're dealing with that you are tr trying to focus on breaking free of i also feel like someone is protected or someone has an angel an earth angel that is like an earth angel someone that's just really good in their life or on the other side 
but there's something that they want to say cancer it's about taking the middle path and 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 not going to either extreme and having just enough it's a lesson being enough feeling enough and having enough and then that's when this balance is going to come in for you. I feel like you're about to take a journey. Someone is about to take a journey or there's something about a journey in this energy for you because something is over, something is deaded, something is dead. And it's super emotional. But someone could have passed and it's super emotional. I feel like you're about to get some justice. I feel like there's a lot of love here. There's definitely someone that's traveling, okay? Um, someone's coming out on this other side of a dark night of the soul. And they're awakening. Or someone's awakening to truth. Or someone's healing their inner child. Someone's no longer no someone's no longer stuck or trapped. Someone has felt like they've been in a straitjacket, just bound. Haunted, unable to get out of something. Crazy. All right, but you're about to fly. You're literally about to fly. Okay. You gotta you gotta go deep. You gotta heal those emotional wounds. The energies that are coming through, Sagittarius and Aries and Taurus and Libra. Okay. All right, Cancer. Guys, again, happy birthday. Let's see what's coming through for you. source divine spirit archangels and ancestors my higher self and my galactic team of the highest light and resonance allow me to be the clear channel show me clearly what i need to see for cancer placements all right cancer someone's watching you okay um this could represent a um investigation or just you have someone spying on you or someone is a fool for you again are you a fool for somebody someone's looking into somebody um pretty closely here okay um there could be a peep and tom somewhere you know if you live in an apartment or you live um in an area where you're close to your landlord or something like that you know you need to be mindful of possibly someone that's watching or trying to or maybe that you know has taken a liking to you and that's just a little bit you know too close for comfort here but um, this also represents something that's been laying dormant for a while, resurfacing, okay? Tunnel vision, okay? When I get tunnel vision and dormant out at the same time, you know, I always feel like someone's extremely focused on you, extremely focused, possibly obsessed, Again, you know, I'm just a fool for you. There's a song I think that goes like that. I'm not gonna sing it because you know, I don't have the best singing voice after my throat surgery. But yeah, tunnel vision. This is someone that is focused, you know. And this could also represent, you know, something that was lying dormant within you in terms of your creative abilities or your divine purpose or you know you're a goal that you have you're extremely focused on it and that's the only thing that you're focused on okay this could represent this move or this these travel plans all right or this could represent some type of obsession um that you have on someone or someone has on you because again i do feel like someone walked away from a third party situation or someone is in the middle of something okay trying to get away trying to break free and there could be someone who was left that doesn't want to be left and there's this energy where someone is focusing on someone else okay
let's get one more for Cancer. Also, um, I believe the moon is void at this time, um, but we are very close into that Capricorn moon phase. And I want to say happy full moon in Capricorn for everyone. You know, um, utilize that energy of, of structure and um, wrapping up certain lessons, depending on where Capricorn is in your chart, the degrees, the house. Um, that's what you need to focus on in terms of your full moon um, intentions. Full moons are about releasing, um, okay, and letting go. There is a cycle that's coming to a close. One more card for Cancer. Victimized, okay? Victimized. Yeah, I feel like someone may have been a victim to a crime or someone could be in a situation, okay, where they are being victimized or this could have been something that happened in the past or this could have caused someone to pass away and this is how someone was left abruptly and they're still dealing with that pain okay um there could be a, a, a repressed memory that's coming up for someone when they were victimized and that's all they can focus on and they need to break out of that okay or this could represent again you know just being very mindful of your energy protecting yourself in the normal ways that you do and just being normally aware okay nothing to worry about just normally aware because these three cards together i just don't like the feeling okay tunnel vision dormant like someone watching tunnel vision and and maybe targeting a victim here okay so you know if you walk to work or to your studio or to wherever and you live in a rural area or even a, like a city and you're walking at night you need to be careful or you need to have someone with you okay hmm all right cancer We have this card here on the bottom of the deck. I had to take a minute to look at it. With all of these cards, dormant tunnel vision victimized, okay? Um, we have a very flamboyant character in this, in this card, you know. Aside from the picture image, bear, uh, bear of gifts, there could be something that's coming your way that could surprise you in the form of a gift, in the form of some type of blessing. We do have Jupiter that's retrograding in Pisces. Okay. So that could be one thing. At the other end of it, we could have someone that could be disguising the true intentions behind bearing something to you. With dormant tunnel vision and victimized, I feel like we have somebody who could be unstable. That's trying to get into your energy. Okay, so be mindful of anything that you accept from people you don't know, all right? I'm just gonna say this because it's coming up. There's a Tupac song where, I think it's Only Fear Death, is a song where he says, happy birthday, bitch, you know you shouldn't have did it. So I don't know who that's for, but be mindful of, oh goodness, and it's, it's, it's your birthday season, so just be mindful of a wounded, unstable ex or something that is upset that you left him okay because this is what i'm getting 
Okay. <sighs> uh, they just want me to keep showing you the, the cards on the bottom of the deck, okay? Um, for that holiday that some of you celebrate, um, 4th of July. Um, yeah, that could be a significant date, but I'm getting explosion. I'm getting something blowing up. I'm getting fire. Now, it says fling. So again, there's something here where someone has powerful emotions or something like that for someone that they thought was going to be more or something ended for whatever reason. And th there's someone that is ready to explode about something or something that's, that should have been a fling or started off as a fling, someone, it's grown for someone. And maybe that those feelings aren't reciprocated is what I'm getting. So just be mindful, okay? No, no, ignorance is not bliss. Don't not trust your intuition, Cancer. You're highly intuitive, all right? Ignorance is not bliss. Protect your crown, I'm getting that again. You can't cover up your eyes and not trust what you know innately about a situation. <sighs> Maybe that's how it's been for you um, in a particular situation. Okay. What's the faded overall energy for cancer? What's the faded overall energy for cancer? Hangman, this is about Neptune energy, okay? So Pisces energy coming through, and um, there is something that you are privy to at this time. There's something that you have come into knowledge about. You've been suspended. This is in the upright, okay? Um, so you've been suspended for a period of time, and you felt stuck, but... Something is clearing. An illusion is lifting and you're able to finally see through something. An understanding or an overstanding. This is about not sacrificing everything you stand for or everything that you have any longer. It's about being clear the hanged man comes right before justice I mean right before it comes right after justice okay so like I said I feel as though you've been through quite a bit of drama legally or karma um there's been a lot of disharmony corrupt people you're ready to sacrifice certain relationships now that you know something because you have a new perspective on something you're surrendering it to a higher power than you okay and you no longer want to be restricted. You are really reflecting because you're ready for new opportunities in your life. So you know that you have to sacrifice something and you're willing to do it. Number 12, reducing to three. This is about balance being restored, Cancer. Balance being restored. So definitely find out where Pisces, um, where you have Pisces in your chart, which house, and where if you have Jupiter in your chart as well, because Jupiter is in Pisces and it's retrograde. So wherever that is in your chart, there's something that Jupiter is about to bless you with, okay? You're ready for it. You're ready for something new. Balance is being restored. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
there you are. That's moon energy. This is about coming into some knowledge. This is about um, feminine energy. Intuition. Wisdom. Peace. Someone could be highly intuitive, a healer. It definitely rep it represents enlightenment, okay? Also, something about being in between worlds. It's time to look within yourself and your own feelings. And to do this, you may have to detach yourself from certain individuals. There's something that you found out, there's a secret that you know that you're holding on to, waiting for the right time. Okay. Mysteries and Stars, Mysteries and Stars, one oracle for cancer <clears throat> placements. Okay, it's got two. Bottom of the deck, we have a chemical magician, fire. This is like temperance energy, okay? Number 35. 32 reducing the five. I told you fives were important. Yeah. There's a quick, swift change that's coming in. This change certain conflicts around you. You're changing. Your situation is changing. Your perception of a situation is changing. And it's happening fast. It's happening fast, okay? Um, this is about being able to have moderation this is about alchemy right turning tears to wine pain to power silver to gold this is about having access to all the elements and co-creating with the universe. This could represent a Sagittarius energy that's in, you know, that you're connected to. It could also represent a Virgo or Gemini. Right below that we have number 36, reducing to 11. There is justice that's coming in for you. There's a, a doorway. Okay, there's a choice, there's a path that you're on that is blessed, okay, by the divine. This is your higher self. You're connecting to your higher self. Angels and spirit guides, okay? Someone here definitely could definitely be a high priestess, a healer, light worker. Creative. Wow. Turning wounds into wisdom. Turning wounds into wisdom. Okay. Turning wounds into wisdom. Literally. In the beginning of the reading, we mentioned someone left. Someone's a, a masculine energy in someone's life left. 
no word, no closure. Someone had to heal themselves. Someone was a victim in a situation. Someone was victimized. Someone was doing the victimizing. Okay. This could be playing out from the perspective of the cross watcher, but how it resonates, take it. But wounds into wisdom. Alchemy. What else does Cancer have? Gosh, this card has been coming out a lot lately. We have John Ritter, who played the character of Jack Tripper on Three's Company. So whenever I get this card again, it represents a third party. I got that in your channel energy anyway. Um, third party situation possibly. All right. We have the guy, the uh, character, Jack Tripper, who was a very unassuming character who, um, in a time when it wasn't accepted, lived in an apartment with two different women. Um, the landlord didn't approve, so he had to pretend like he was gay to live there, okay? Um, so there could be someone who is living a double life or um, not open about their sexuality, possibly. Um, this is an energy of someone that's very unassuming, someone very likable. There could be an issue here with the landlord, okay? Because it's the landlord card as well, you know? So again, be mindful of someone who is abusing the situation who you're running from or something like that all right um this could be someone who's very humorous likable on the outside but there could be something going on in terms of victimizing people or, or spying on someone that's what i'm getting so yeah um virgo energy and then the last card we have is high priestess number 60 okay Wow, we have a lot of 11s and 5s for you in this reading. And 3s. Um, 6 is the number that represents the lover's card. So personal choice, head over heart decision. Um, dreams. Dreams. You're getting signs in your dreams. You're having a lot of dreams. Um, there are reoccurring dreams that you're having, maybe even nightmares for some about being victimized or about your past. Um, this is high priestess energy, okay? It's about the mysteries, Akashic Records. You have Archangel Gabriel protecting you at this time, working with you at this time, okay? So double high priestess energy here. So this is a very powerful energy that's that is um, that's being worked with. I'm talking about your intuition is off the charts right now, Cancer. Literally about something that's going on, or about someone, or something that's happening in your life. Okay, ignorance is not bliss. You can't hide from your inner knowing. I feel like someone is wanting to hide from their <coughs> abilities or. What they see, no. You have a responsibility, you have a gift, you need to harness it. Especially right now during this great awakening. Your energy is needed. Show me clearly. What are the important messages for cancer? What are the energies surrounding cancer at this time? Recent past the current energies, important messages, show me clearly. Cancer placements. Nine of Swords in reverse. This came out in reverse, okay? So, I feel like someone is... Again, seeing something from a different perspective, no longer stuck, no longer having nightmares, no longer feeling haunted or confused, worried about something legal or about a past memory that has affected them for a really long time where they were victimized or unresolved issues about someone who passed away or left. 
okay? When the Nine of Swords is in reverse, this represents healing or also something that you didn't know about, now you know about. This is revelation, okay? Nine of Swords energy um, represents something being revealed. You're able to see something objectively now. This is also the energy of recovery. Death perception. Someone could be awakening to their potential as a healer or light worker. And in the beginning, it can feel like you're getting migraines and you are not getting clear messages and that you're kind of losing your mind and you're having dreams you can't put together that's why i said in the beginning of the reading that you need to protect your crown someone is experiencing um, ascension symptoms it's just the fact that you're coming into some downloads and some very powerful gifts and that again you need to be the light you can't get away from it that's for some of you because again archangel gabriel is here and they're trying to show you something. You have forces of the light trying to show you something, trying to make something clear to you about your Akashic records or about your past. For some of you, again, it's just overcoming some anxiety and fear or depression. Or someone may have been a victim to some darker energy okay surrounding a high priestess someone trying to attack someone in the dream state in the 4d you know someone may be doing spell work or um psychic dark forces attacking someone and them not understanding why or what's going on okay because the nine of swords in reverse can represent energy work as well Okay, you see the snake. I feel like when I told you in the beginning of the reading that you may feel stuck right now or you may, you know, not understand what's happening, but justice is coming your way. I feel like whatever spell work or dark magic or anything that someone's been doing to you even if it's not that intense just manipulation and control through the legal system through a marriage or a family situation or something that happened to you in your past i feel like you're getting retribution and if it's spell work you don't have to do anything okay when you are living in good intention or if you are chosen because someone here is chosen to be a healer or light worker Someone is a star seed. Someone has been through hell on earth. That's the initiation. Someone's coming out on the other side of a dark night of the soul. And that is the most time. The time when you will be a, a, a target because you are approaching another phase in your journey. You're about to be initiated into something and these darker forces test you. Okay? Um, but whatever someone's sending your way, it's going right back at them, right? Archangel Raphael, um, you know, someone is is very powerful and they don't even know it, is what I'm getting. But yeah, so that is something else that I'm, I'm getting here. Psychic forces, victimizing someone and they not understanding what's going on, now they know. Now they know that there are energies around that have been doing work on them. It's a real thing. Yes, it happens. And as you're coming into the mysteries and occult knowledge, you're realizing that this stuff actually happens. And it may be breaking your heart and your soul to know certain things that you find out that just shatters the illusion. It's part of the process. Yes, there's dark in this world. And yes, there's dark inside of us all. 
not everyone is fortunate enough to go through so much in their life that they are triggered by something that allows them to remember who they truly are and start to face themselves and face their shadow and understand that there's nothing outside of you. Everything in your reality you manifest and everything that you've been through has been something that is mental, that you've manifested. And when you're able to face your shadow, the darker aspects of you, your lower nature, then you begin to understand what balance and alignment is. And that's the journey that someone is on here. What else for cancer? Let me get one more. King of Pentacles in reverse. And the Five of Four of Pentacles. Okay. So there could be a Gemini, okay, um, involved here. We have the King of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy, masculine energy, earth energy, could represent Virgo or Taurus with the Four of Pentacles. So this could definitely be a Capricorn for sure because the Four of Pentacles is Capricorn energy or earth. And here we go with this um, with this um, masculine earth energy that could represent, you know, this father figure or this masculine energy that walked away. Um, that there is some unresolved feelings with for or unresolved issues. That need to be worked out okay the king of pentacles in reverse could represent um a low vibrational capricorn taurus virgo energy i'm definitely getting capricorn here with this four of, of pentacles but there's some truths that are you that you're finding out about something that someone may have been doing to you energetically or there is some type of healing in relation to anxiety or fears surrounding what you went through in a situation regarding this masculine energy. But this masculine energy is, is a little vibrational. It came out in reverse, okay? The King of Pentacles in reverse could be um, someone that's involved in some shady business dealings or, you know, um, this is an energy that is not in control, that has a difficult time manifesting money, relationships. Well, I wouldn't say have a good difficult time uh, manifesting relationships, but the relationships that they do manifest, they are, they're not stable. Um, this is an energy of someone who is very materialistic. Um, they're money driven, okay? In relationships, a lot of the relationships that they are involved in are based on what they can get out of them. The King of Pentacles has a lot of repressed emotions. They are detached from their emotions. The King of Pentacles could represent, um, you know, abuse and abusive tendencies. This is the energy of someone who should have been a protector, but they weren't. They were actually, in some cases, a perpetrator. Um, a couple of this with the Four of Pentacles, okay? This is the energy of someone who is controlling, okay? Very controlling. 
with this doctor energy here, I definitely feel like this could some, definitely be someone who could be actually mentally, um, I mean, uh, like, diagnosed with a mental disorder, bipolar, someone could be neurotic, um, I feel like there's someone here, a very controlling figure that is unstable and they manipulate energies around them to keep people codependent on them. There's something here to do with a thief, okay? Or someone who will do anything for money. Someone could be going through something in terms of their health. The King of Pentacles with the Four of Pentacles represents someone who was an influence misusing that influence misusing that influence I'm getting a lot of instability here I'm definitely getting someone having to suppress someone having to suppress um Their emotions and in return someone ended up with some type of diagnosis where where they're just like again um, hearing voices and sleepless nights this could also represent slow vibrational Capricorn energy, you know, um, working on someone. Clearly. To control them, to keep them stuck, to keep them anxious, to keep them from moving forward, to keep them from being stable. Someone should have protected someone, but at the end of the day, again, someone was forced to keep a secret to repress their feelings, their emotions, or to keep something quiet, okay? By this Capricorn or Earth sign. And there could be an overbearing King of Pentacles energy that is watching someone very closely because they don't want the secret to come out about someone being victimized or being kept quiet or suppressed because something that was dormant is now coming to the forefront. That's why someone is being contacted in their dreams by spirit, Archangel Gabriel, Akashic Records. Someone is being awakened to their gifts No longer a victim. No longer a victim. Bottom of the deck, we have the sun. Okay, the truth is coming out. The truth is being illuminated here. Look, look at this child. Someone feels as if they've lost their childhood trying to deal with something that they needed to get out of them that was suppressed. Someone here, and take it how it resonates, could be depressing. You know, I don't know why I'm getting 
Norman Bates, you know, Ugh. odd mother son relationship. And then all of a sudden, you know, um, Norman Bates, someone literally could be you or, or anyone in the situation that is, has been a victimizer, has been this controlling king of swords, materialistic, overbearing abuser and they have been suppressing what they've been doing. They black out and they've been victimizing people, okay? Um, and they're just psychotic. And then someone is finally realizing that they are a monster. That's for some of you. <clears throat> but I do feel like someone is stepping into their abilities or they are becoming more intuitive and they are ready to face their past, ready to face whatever has happened. And there's inner child healing that's happening here. Okay, Cancer, you rule the fourth house. So this is really, really um, important because like I said, you are moving into an energy of Justice. Justice is coming in for you. Someone here is, I believe, some of you are at an advanced stage of your journey. Some of you are taking the fool's journey. You're about to embark on the fool's journey. Self-love and healing and justice is coming for you. The sun is the most, one of the most positive cards in the deck. And it represents the youthful spirit, the, the, the joy and innocence of a child is what connects you to the divine. Someone has felt as if they have not been connected all their life or for a period of time, 10 years even. But this card is here to tell you that your inner child is craving for your love. And it's time to connect with your inner child and your shadow, okay? Because you are moving into success and joy and healing. The sun is represented by the number 10. So this is, again, an ending of a cycle. And it's time to release certain aspects, okay? Release it to the divine so that you can move forward. After the sun, it's justice. What's behind that? Truth, justice, truth. <laughs> you know, coming out of chaos and confusion. This is a divine blessing from the universe of clarity. And this clarity has a lot to do with abandonment issues. The Eight of Cups is about walking away from someone else's dream, walking away from things that no longer fulfill you and just to dwell in the situation any longer is again, to live too long in someone else's dream. It's a, it's a pivot point, it's a pathway, it's a marker point for you, Cancer, to decide to take a path, to leave something behind that's no longer serving you, to move towards your fulfillment, wish fulfillment and happiness. You need to walk away, okay, from this Cancer or this Capricorn. These secrets, deep secrets that have been repressed for way too long. And it could have something to do with the family for sure. Eight of Cups is Pisces energy. Pisces rules the 12th house. Secrets, illusions. Deluded thoughts placed on you by someone that may have misused their power in your life, an authority figure, a masculine energy. But there is someone that you're walking away from, or already walked away from, that doesn't like it. This is someone who doesn't understand. They do not want to let go, okay? This is someone that is hopeless like a penny with a hole in it. 
you're triggering abandonment issues in someone else. Okay. All right. Walk away. <clears throat> There could be a Leo of significance, okay, um, that is going to be helping to shed light on a situation for you or a Leo that could be um, a positive influence in your life. You could have Leo in your chart. Okay, let's clarify. Let's clarify this energy for cancer. Nine of swords. Queen of cups. Yeah. Queen of cups. High priestess. Someone here is a healer. Someone here is a light worker, a tarot reader maybe even a teacher or a doctor. This is someone who is very empathic or creative. You don't get to the high priestess energy without being initiated, okay? Without going through some painful experiences and through that pain and through that toil and strife, Your star, your light, is released from the dark, okay? And then we have this Queen of Cups coming out to clarify this depth perception that you're receiving, this... Um, Ability to look at everything that you've been through objectively. And with the Queen of Cups coming upright, this is you. You're the Queen of Cups. Okay? This could represent a Cancer or a Pisces or, or, or Scorpio, okay? Or anyone embodying this energy of the Queen of Cups. This could be a mother figure or someone that um, is very intuitive around you. But I feel like this is you. I feel like this is healing. I feel like this is self love. You're drinking from your own cup. You're choosing you. You are taking what you have experienced and you're pouring it into something creative. This is healing, you know. <laughs> this is the emotional healing, you know, that comes through and heals the mind. I always feel like, you know, mental illness, whatever they prescribe you, you know, I feel like that's so unnecessary. That's my opinion. It's not true, okay? Well, you know, it's my truth. It causes more problems mentally. The only cure for mental illness is to have entities removed from your aura. It's to love yourself. It's to have a connection to your higher self. Love is a cure. And I feel like someone is well on their path to a beautiful healing energy, okay? Someone standing in their power as the Queen of Cups. Cancer, like I said in the beginning of your reading, someone is taking a journey. Someone is, maybe, you know, you're being a fool for yourself. But, you know, again... This energy of the Queen of, 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 of Cups, whether it's imbalanced or not, it's not an energy that people, okay, can very easily let go of because the Queen of Pen the Queen of Cups is healing energy. It's unconditional love personified. And even when you're unbalanced, you 
If you're unbalanced and you're not even sure about who you are, you can't truly love another. But even in that unbalanced state, imbalanced state, the love that you feel you have for someone, it, it's really what you're craving for yourself. You know, it stems from insecurities and um, codependency and fear and fear of losing someone. And, you know, it, it turns into obsession and it turns into, you know, again, codependency. But even in that state, that type of codependent, powerful water energy, it's hard to release. And now that you're in your power here, you're gaining perception and you're gaining the ability to heal and move forward from a third party situation. That could definitely represent addictions, okay? Fears, upset, you know, compulsion, gambling, anything. But I feel like you walked away from a third party situation to focus on yourself. And there is someone, okay, definitely could be a Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo, or Pisces, or Gemini. Someone doesn't like the fact that you walked away, okay, and someone is very much focused on you. Tunnel vision. Someone also is in fear about something that as you're healing coming up that they want to suppress in you right this could be a authority figure or a masculine energy that may have been abusive or may have some secrets that your healing could unearth and they don't like it someone is trying to manipulate the situation in some way energetically or in some other ways okay because someone is not trying to let let you go let you walk away someone could be playing the victim so be mindful you're healing you're moving forward and again like I told you you're being initiated on your path and you will be tested it's coming back again, okay? Tupac energy, okay? He's saying, say it again. It's your birthday season. There's someone who feels jaded. There's someone who's been left. There's someone who doesn't want a pack to be broken. And they're saying, happy birthday, bitch. You know you shouldn't have did it, okay? Bearer of gifts. Someone around you can't be trusted. And they could be under the skies of bearing gifts, but they, they want to hurt you in some way. Or they want to stop you from moving forward. But you have Archangel Gabriel around you and Raphael. Okay, you don't have to worry, but just, of course, just this is about preparation and mindfulness. If you are a high priestess and you're being initiated on your journey, you are protected. You just have to own that and know that. All right? Again, <laughs> they can throw whatever they want to throw at you. It's being reversed. Look at the snake. Archangel Raphael has already, is already working with you. Okay? You're getting revelations and you're breaking free of the illusion. Queen of Cups. Someone doesn't want you to get away. Cancer. Someone wants to block your path. Cancer. This can represent someone that you are walking away from or um, someone that you have connection with that has a, a, a huge age difference in you, a different race, um, that practices a different spirituality than you. Okay? But this is an energy of someone that's getting aggressive. Okay? They have self-doubt. They want to win. They don't want to lose. This is someone who has a, a really big ego. And they want to stop you from moving forward because you're definitely moving forward. Um, you're definitely moving forward toward this truth. 
feeling your inner child. This is a divine blessing of truth that's coming your way. Or you're, or you're moving towards a Leo. Okay. Or Libra. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Who's the King of Pentacles? Okay, the King of Pentacles. Wow, okay. Hmm. <laughs> you have the Queen of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles coming out to clarify. Yeah, my music stopped, so yeah. Someone's saying, let the music play. You won't get away. Just keep on dancing. And maybe she'll come back to you again. That always happens. That song always comes to my head when my music stops. Um, again, someone's trying to create a distraction. Someone is not trying to let you get away. And they are feeling as if they, if they distract you enough that they can wrap you back up in an illusion and save their ass from the secret that's coming out or keep you from moving on. This is about control, remember? We have the King of Pentacles with the Four of Pentacles. So to clarify this energy of this King of Pentacles in reverse, we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. So this could represent a counterpart situation, okay? A divine connection or twin flame, soulmate. The King and the Queen of Pentacles are a perfect match, ideally, but we have this low vibrational masculine energy here. So someone's no longer on your vibration, no longer a vibrational match for you. Someone's evolving past a divine connection here. And someone is trying to hold on. This could also represent something to do with the masculine energy And again, it's going back to that energy I had in the beginning of your reading of some a masculine energy or a father figure or someone walking away from a mother and their child controlling the finances or there was some type of feeling of not being protected or maybe taking someone's inheritance or someone just walked away, all right, never did anything else, never even contacted someone, and that's a lot of pain, someone felt victimized. But I feel like someone is, you know, um, getting justice. I feel like someone is getting like a whole slew of back child support from this, this masculine energy that just walked away, okay? Unless someone mentally, emotionally unstable, um, financially unstable, thinking that they can just have a child and walk away and not have anything to do with it, they're, the justice is catching up to someone and, and someone's about to be compensated. The Ace of Pentacles is a divine blessing of abundance, prosperity, or some type of monetary gift coming in. Couple it with the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is the Queen of Abundance. You know, she's someone who takes care of her family. She takes care of her business. She doesn't have her own business and she works hard. She's upstanding. She's an empath. She nurtures people. She's a good mother and a supporter of her community. And she will give her last dime if she could make someone's life better in any way, in any small way. All right, if this is not the scenario about the father situation or the child support, um, then this represents that whatever was taken from you 
in the form of whatever this King of Pentacles in reverse has done, whether it was spell work, someone working on someone, someone trying to block someone's finances. Whatever was lost in the situation is coming back. I feel like there could be something that someone is trying to create in the legal system um, because there's like a custody battle or a settlement, a divorce situation going on and we have this King of Pentacles in reverse. Could be someone, you know, that has connections in the community, has paid officials, you know, in the justice system, etc. Has paid doctors to like, you know, say that there's something wrong with you. All so that they can take everything, that you wouldn't get anything in court, that you wouldn't get any property or that you would lose the house or whatever. All that's null and void. Like I said, you may feel trapped right now in a situation, but I told you in the beginning of this reading that you don't see it, but justice is on your side. You're about to get justice for everything that you lost. If someone is just, you're evolving past the connection and um, there's someone that has repressed their emotions or... Um, that's being controlled, okay, someone you walked away from because they were in a third party situation or they chose someone karmic over you, they are stuck in a lot of lack, being controlled by someone or someone you walked away from, their whole karmic situation is targeting you, your business, okay, but this is the divine saying, now is your time. This is a gift to you for all that you've done in your community, for all that you have sustained, for something that you've created. Here's a blessing for you. This is someone's, you know, mother possibly that passed away on the other side. Someone that's been trying to contact you in your dreams. You have the High Priestess here twice. You have the Dream card. Someone is definitely trying to contact you. And they're saying that you're blessed. Keep creating. Keep moving forward on your path. If this is something to do with inheritance, that someone left you, that a father figure or a masculine energy is trying to take or trying to swindle through the legal system from you, no, it's going in your favor. Whatever you're creating, you're about to get recognition for it, okay? You're about to get a, a medal or a award. This Ace of Pentacles can represent an engagement, a small token of appreciation, There is something that's coming in. It's, it's very much abundant. And the Ace of Pentacles also represents a new beginning. A new beginning. Wow. Bottom of that. Yeah, the Ace. I'm sorry, the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups represents accomplishment right there may have been a period of nine months where you felt like what am i doing where is this going maybe close to giving up on something but this nine of cups is representing that you're on the right path you're close to your tenth cup that 
to keep pouring into something that you are creating because it will flourish. It will bring you emotional fulfillment. It will bring you emotional fulfillment. You know, it's been a difficult road. You may have felt like you've lost your mind or you may have been dealing with someone who was very disturbed, okay? Um, someone who's tested your faith, someone who, again, dangerous or psychotic, okay? That has made things very difficult for you. This nine of, of um, wands, and we have nine nine here, so that's the energy of the angels. You're close to the end of a cycle. You're close to accomplishing your dreams. And there's someone that wants to bring conflict, okay? There's someone that wants to bring conflict. Someone coming bearing gifts that are not your true abundance. This has been coming through in a lot of the readings and a lot of different signs. But there's someone that's unstable, nine of wands, okay? It could be a Sagittarius energy or fire sign. But someone is unstable here. Someone feels jaded or left or abandoned, eight of cups. So be mindful of any time, time around your, your birthday or, you know, this month, because the song from Tupac came through strong. Um, listen to the song, Only Fear of Death by Tupac. It's about someone that's paranoid and everything like that. And he's saying, you know, da 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 happy birthday, bitch, you know, you shouldn't have did it. So there's someone that feels jaded, for sure. There's someone that wants revenge around you. And they see that you're close to having that 10th cup, which is wish fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, happiness. Okay? And they're unstable. Yeah, they see, they see this king of, this true king of pentacles, the king of abundance, ready to come in with that last cup and bring it into you because you've healed and because you're healing and that you're finding self-love, you're attracting that towards you. Not only are you the queen of cups, you're also the queen of pentacles, okay? You're embodying, you're starting to embody all the queens. Right now, in this reading, you have the queen of cups, which is empath, creative, healing, and you also have the queen of pentacles. This can represent, you know, a, a same-sex relationship, you know, two queens, queen of cups, queen of pentacles. It can represent someone that's coming in as to help you in a creative project or in business, okay, or, or another earth sign that's around you. But I feel like this is you embodying both. Not only have you healed, but you are the queen of abundance. There's something abundant about you. There's something abundant that you're creating. You're stable. Abundance can mean money. Abundance can mean happiness. Abundance can mean spirituality. It's being comfortable and safe. And it's also the energy of manifestation. Okay? So you are also the queen of pentacles, embodying that energy of stability and protection and, you know, um, manifestation. Someone sees you being close to this wish fulfillment and being close to having this king of pentacles. King of pentacles can just represent business as well. Solid, solid business several streams of income, being like respected in your community. But someone is trying to stand in the way of that or ruin that. But they can't, okay? You are the Queen of Pentacles. There's a gift that's coming your way, a divine blessing of abundance, prosperity, a new beginning. This could represent some type of um, healing, 
that's taking place with a king of pentacles for some of you okay that this could represent a reconciliation where someone has healed and came back around in their power but i feel like this is new a blessing of a new beginning because of all that you've been through because of all the healing that you've received okay pain is difficult especially deep pain that stems from childhood trauma family trauma and because you have released all those broken soul fragments to the divine something beautiful in the form of happiness wish fulfillment accomplishment it's it's here for you okay this is the perfect match this is the king and queen of abundance this is a power couple okay this is a powerful business um project that's going to flourish you know you may have a lot of reservations but you're still moving forward there's someone that's coming that is a good person a hard worker a manifester and again it could be a divine connection that's coming in okay divine masculine divine feminine but it, it it looks beautiful it looks abundant cancer wow that's really beautiful yeah it definitely is it's something divine but you you have um someone could be a virgo a rate that is still trying to manipulate a situation but they're failing at it okay eight of pentacles in reverse someone can't perfect something someone is stuck in something this could represent someone finally giving up their control their obsession, their focus on you. Celebration. Okay, three. We have the hangman, upright, no longer being a sacrificial lamb, willing to sacrifice something in order for something new to come in, ready for new beginnings and opportunities to come your way truth revelations healing happiness love being respected in your community healing the feminine energies within your family within your life okay getting connected again with friends and i'm definitely getting the energy of three feminine energies could be um triplets or our siblings relationships healing and then we have the lovers of course this is cancer energy and then we have the lovers card here as well so there's a important decision a choice a head over heart decision a heart over head decision that's going to be made here um but i feel like this is business this is a power couple. This is also possibly a divine connection. Again, like I said, Archangel Gabriel is here. You know, you may feel stuck now or you may have felt stuck in the recent past, but there's justice that's coming in. There's justice that's coming in. There's a connection that the divine is, is blessed and it's 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 yours this could also represent just sacred union within yourself being initiated on the journey that's beautiful energy cancer <sighs> wow okay i could keep going because we have the lovers there 
union, divine union, sacred union within yourself, okay? Definitely could be a Leo. Um, that has given you a lot of strength on your journey or who you're moving toward. Someone with Leo, um, earth placements. But you're strong now. Um, you know your loyalties lie. You can now see the forest clearly when before you couldn't see the forest for the trees. Beautiful aura. You're working on yourself. Like, literally, you have the lovers, okay? And you have the king and queen of pentacles. And you have the sun. Well, you have the nine of pentacles and the nine of cups. This is nine, nine, nine. Nine, nine, nine. Angel numbers. Always prepare for conflict when you're almost at the end of a cycle. It's always darkest before the dawn. Whoever is trying to surprise you or get in the way of what's yours, they won't succeed. You've been initiated and you're on a journey, okay? Nines represent divine timing, divine justice, cosmic justice, blessings. One cup away from complete wish fulfillment, one cup away from everything you ever wanted in terms of family, in terms of finances and abundance. You have the Ace of Pentacles, so that completes the, the, the Ten of Pentacles right there. The Nine of Pentacles represents being okay, being alone. Working on healing, balancing your chakras. And that's why your aura is so beautiful. That's why even the birds are attracted to you at this time. And it's okay to accept abundance. It's okay to receive it's okay to appreciate the luxury around you, whatever that means for you. You deserve it. You deserve it. And it's coming. And it's coming. Liberation. Freedom. healing, answering the call of your purpose, your divine purpose, your life. You see the cemetery there with the child? This is being free, facing healing your inner child, loving on your inner child, understanding that you are loved. Your inner child is loved and cared for and, and protected. And you can walk out into this reality reborn on your divine path and purpose. And you can forgive and you can release everything that's ever held you back and made you feel dead, stuck, imprisoned. Who is this Capricorn? This King of Pentacles in reverse energy, this controlling energy, um, this victimizer, possibly. any of these negative energies that have, that have come up in this reading for cancer, including this, you know, kind of deranged or unstable individual that feels jaded, that feels abandoned, that's being walked away from, that may be trying to surprise cancer out of vengeance. Okay, someone with Saturn... Mercury or Venus in Sagittarius. Third Deacon. Third Deacon Capricorn, okay? 
Yeah, definitely got Capricorn energy with that King of Pentacles in reverse. Four of Pentacles, someone very controlling. Someone who repressed or forced someone else to repress their, their feelings or some type of secret. Um, Mars in Capricorn, Uranus in Capricorn. Uranus in Capricorn put someone in like 20... 20 to 30 years. Tell me more about these negative energies. Can we specifically nail these negative energies down? Yeah. Um, we have Venus, okay, in a shadow aspect. So something revolving around money, um, relationships, love, family, um, lack of appreciation, worth. Someone was a victim, they felt like they didn't have any self-worth, which affected how they loved themselves, how they loved others, their relationships in their lives. Again, a lot to do with money. We have this King of Pentacles in reverse, the Four of Pentacles, definitely someone who's very materialistic, only gets in relationships to get something out of people this could definitely be some type of scam situation that you were a victim to yeah you could be dealing with a low vibrational cancer as well okay someone with neptune in cancer mars in cancer we're dealing with a master illusionist here okay a very very vengeful energy Okay, this is someone who understands you, how you operate, your emotional triggers, especially if it's another cancer. Okay, this negative energies could be a Pisces, third deacon, someone with um, Venus and Pisces or Neptune and Pisces. Again, another very um, master illusionist, 12th house energy, Pisces, Neptune and Pisces. This is a, someone who plays a victim very well. This is someone who is a martyr and they are a strategic one. They do things for people so that people can need them and then that way they can manipulate them. Okay. So let's get a final word on your energy, Cancer, and relation to this truth and this sun energy, this happiness, this positivity, this healing the inner child, this Leo energy, uh, Libra energy that you're walking into. Can we get a special outcome here? Okay, Knight of Pentacles, all right? We have a Knight of Pentacles energy here um, in reverse. This is no movement little movement this is the energy of someone that feels stuck um someone that feels as if they can't move forward or bring a message towards you um yeah the knight of pentacles the knight of earth is a slow moving energy in itself but in reverse it's almost no movement at all someone definitely is stuck and um they want you to be stuck as well because they're trying to clarify this uh ace of swords and sun energy and we are getting this knight of pentacles this virgo coming through in reverse so someone is trying to make their way to you but they're stuck they see that you are coming into some type of truth or happiness or success and they feel stuck Or they're trying to who brought Jason of of unstrained soul and Argantas to the Golden Fleece through many adventures and a dangerous travel. Yeah, there's someone that's trying to create danger, energetic work, confusion, 
blockages on your path, but they can't, okay? On their way to you, they got stopped. They got blocked. And whatever they were sending your way went back to them. Now they're stuck, okay? So, yeah, they're stuck. Can we get some more energy? Um, a final potential outcome for the Ace of Swords and the Sun for Cancer, please. What is this beautiful energy? Page of Wands in reverse with the Two of Hope in reverse. Okay, so they want to keep letting me know that there's someone, could be a Virgo, um, could be a fire sign, could be a Capricorn, okay, or a group of individuals working together, okay, that want to stop you from coming into this truth. They don't want your memories to be recollected. They don't want you to be free. They don't want you to be healed. They don't want you to come into this abundance or truth because they want to keep you a victim. They don't want certain things to come out because it's going to, um, it's going to make them culpable to something, possibly something legal. All right. I feel like there are a lot of energies around you that are going through a lot of karma. Um, you walked away from a karmic situation or a third party situation and these energies are suffering. They want to bring you down with them. So, with this Knight of Pentacles, Page of Wands in reverse, and Two of Pentacles in reverse, what they're saying is that there's some angry, petty, immature, frustrated, stuck, stagnant individuals, okay, that have tried to cause danger on your journey, on your path to abundance and happiness with spiteful negative intent through black magic, manipulation through the court systems, working with flying monkeys and people that you know to cause problems, sending all kinds of wicked spells your way, but two of pentacles in reverse. They can't get to you because you're the high priestess you're protected you're you've been initiated you've done the work on yourself they don't match your vibration so everything they're sending your way is going back to them to a pentacles they're creating a loop for themselves that's keeping them trapped and stuck that's what they're saying okay if you're evolving past the divine connection, they're no longer on your vibration. They can't get to you. They're being blocked. And now they're trying to block your true blessing. This power couple. This perfect match. Wow. Wow. Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Hope, Page of Wands, and Two of Pentacles. They're trapped. They're sad. They're stuck in their own deceit. Trapped. Someone you walked away from who chose a karmic partner of you or someone that you chose to walk away from, <laughs> they're the Knight of Pentacles and they've been just abducted within their own spitefulness. 
This could represent someone who actually does believe they have feelings for you. They chose someone else over you. And now that they see you moving forward, they want to come towards you, but they can't. They were against you. They are trapped. If this is a masculine father figure energy or someone that victimized you, they're trapped. They can't stop you from healing. They can't stop you from um, evolving. Jealousy was never sure of Argus and of his cunning eyes until the footsteps with the name of Lo were given to it. Yet someone never thought that their cunning actions would catch up to them. Hope has never been defeated by any doubt, but it is solid and constant to the end when reason arrives to help hope. Yeah, there's no reason, there's no rhyme or, or reason to the situation. This is just hate and um, control and someone stuck in their own hate and control, trying to control you, trying to control you and block your blessings. But divine blessing of truth, the sun, then the bottom of the deck, we have the king of love, like, like all the way around, okay? We have the king and the queen of cups, the king and the queen of cups, and we have the king and the queen of pentacles. Okay, I feel like there is a power couple that's coming together where a masculine and feminine energy are going to be working together. Both of you are going to be highly intuitive, highly intuitive, tapped in, spiritual, creative. And when these two energies come together, it's going to create beauty, abundance, healing for others, yourselves, your business is going to flourish. Everything is going to work good. Two kings, two queens, this can represent a whole soul tribe or a group of entities or energies that are working together to create a community or create something that is going to flourish and help a lot of people. Yeah, for sure. But below that, we have the page of hope, new beginnings. Opportunities, manifestation, discovery. Wow. Beautiful energy. So yeah, there's success and joy. Adventure, travel, creativity. <sighs> Again, it's time to choose a path. There's not either extreme. There's dark wings, wings opening up to reveal the face of an angel that's blessing you with everything that you need. Everything that you need. Cancer. Dark wings part to reveal the face of the angel. She pours a healing drop into the golden chalice and you pray that she will lift it to your parched lips. She has poured out just enough to restore you and that is the secret she has come to teach. In a life filled with need and longing, it is a great gift to know the meaning of enough. To be, to do, to have just enough gives your body a new sense of balance and you are finally light enough for your own wings to lift you up. All things in moderation, virtuous behavior, a middle path between extremes. Consider all sides of the situation, Cancer. In the beginning of your reading, you received the card 
of alchemical fire, okay? There's changes that are coming your way and balance that's coming to you, justice, and most importantly, freedom. Healing. A journey. Let's get an oracle. For my lovely cancers, happy birthday again. Okay, cancer. What do we have? Oh, we have guide. Wow. A lot of angelic protection around you, okay? Um, Archangel Gabriel sure okay there are a lot of blessings that are coming your way cancer I don't know how else to say this um, everything you've lost from your past whatever you suffered as a victim or whatever energies were victimizing you there's there's justice there's balance being restored you're being guided okay you are a high priestess you need to step into your abilities and allow yourself to receive okay understand it's time to eat right it's time to Get balanced because you are receiving a lot of information. You are protected. This is your spirit guide, okay? You are protected on your journey. Let's see what this says. Guide for cancer. An energy that advises or shows the way to others. This came out upright. get the keywords for you okay for cancer we have visitation okay we got the dream state for you high priestess energy rules the the fourth dimension okay in the dream state we have Hecate so again feminine energies all around you Independence, hero, heart-to-heart -heart connection, connector, loyalty, boldness, team, and superhero. <sighs> I feel like that's what you are, Cancer. Like you've you've come through a lot. You're harnessing your feminine energies. Um, you're being initiated, depending on where you are on your journey. The dark night of the soul, coming through it keep moving forward some of you are well on your journey and you're about to be initiated into something powerful um i'm getting again akashic records um yeah it's powerful we have the ace of swords and the sun that's some powerful truth downloads so this is beautiful um some of you are becoming a master like an ascendant master or a master student um so the message for you cancer Supernatural signs and visitations are near to ensure you don't stray from your path. Your safety and success affects the spirit world. You are powerful, Cancer. There is something about you and you being safe and you staying on path. Like I said in the beginning of your reading, you cannot deny. There, no, there's no more ignorant bliss. You cannot deny your purpose, because it's important during this time of the awakening, the great awakening, you are important. It says clearly that you'll be getting signs and synchronicities and visitations are near you. Spiritual realm is near you so that you don't stray from your path. Your safety and success affects the spirit world. You are an angel. You are important. We all are stars bound to a body. But some of us are chosen. Wow. This is absolutely amazing. Yeah, there's no more hiding. There's no more ignorance as bliss here. Okay? You're powerful. Trust in your intuition. Keep doing the work. It's time to take this journey. Eight 
Ace of Swords and the Sun, I said there's something powerful here. This definitely could be some type of divine union coming together that's going to change the world. You have the King and the Queen of Pentacles and the King and the Queen of Cups and the Lovers. Something is about to be earth shattering and it's going to reverberate into the astral realms. Like this is powerful stuff. Your safety and the insurance that you stay on path is so important that you are protected because this affects the spirit world. This is beautiful, Cancer. You're on the right path. Keep going. There's no more ignorant bliss. You know, you can't close your eyes to what's inside. Powerful changes. Freedom. This is a journey. This is initiation. And this is liberation. Liberation. 